Um, uh, I'm a qualified architect and currently work as a deputy design director for a main contractor in Hong Kong. Uh, I was born in Canada and did the opposite of a lot of people, which was that I moved to Hong Kong when I was five years old, uh, when a lot of people uh, immigrated to Canada. Um, when I came to Hong Kong, I couldn't speak a word of Chinese, but I could understand it as my parents would speak to me in Chinese. But because of this, um, I, I did actually try to enter uh, some of the local schools, but none of them would take me. So my dad decided that I would uh, just study at an international school. And uh, I think uh, he wasn't he wasn't really sure of the, the choices back then, but he was he was very aware of ESF. And so he said, OK, you're going to ESF. So I spent uh, three months of uh, year one at Kalu Junior School just three months. And because uh, my, my father had to move to, uh, uh, for work to the Chinese University of Hong Kong, my catchment area changed. And so I had to change schools. And I basically spent uh, my whole primary education at Beacon Hill after that, and then uh, progressed to Sha Tin College. So um, I've, I've, I've basically spent my primary and sec secondary education with ESF. Um, I, as you can see in the slides, I have uh, two kids. Um, Zach is now in year 10 at South Island School and Annabelle is in year four at Quarry Bay School. The pictures here actually uh, show their first days at Quarry Bay School and uh, South Island School when they were a bit younger. Um, as you can see in the photos there, they're, they're super happy. And I think um, they, they bring back memories of when I joined Beacon Hill and, and Shotson College, exact same feeling and exact same kind of ex expression. So the reason why I chose ESF for my child was because as I was growing up, I recall um, I had a really, really good childhood and very, very happy with school. I don't think I ever complained about it. And um, the education it gave me got to where I am now, which is something I also wanted for my children. And I think um, it's the same feeling with Yasmin. And, and I think um, that's, that's, that's what's important about putting our kids back in a, an education system, which we were familiar with. Um, and, and like I said, because I'm familiar with the system, it puts me in a very comfortable zone for my child's education as well. And I think uh, what, I, what I had, I wanted to give my kids as well, and which is naturally why we put them uh, back into the ESF system. Um, and did I enjoy studying at ESF? Well, of course I did. I really loved it. Uh, the teachers were all amazing. They're, they knew their stuff and the lessons were always interesting and uh, informative. I don't ever recall a dull moment in school. The extracurricular activities were also fun. The school was very diversified and every, everyone had opportunities to grow as, as team leaders, uh, grow as a person. They, they, we never felt intimidated and we could always talk to our teachers about basically anything. Um, there was a lot of respect for each other between students and teachers. And studying made a difference where, when you're put into such an environment and all the teachers knew you personally to make sure your strengths were reached to the potential. So looking back, I am very, very thankful and grateful for the education I had at uh, ESF. And so one of my, well, what was my favorite moment when I was at ESF? There, there isn't a single moment that was my favorite. There were many, many moments that I can't really capture one as my favorite, but I can give you a few from the time I was, uh, say, captain of our netball team. and. Uh, although we came third overall in the netball tournament across the ESF schools, the teamwork of the girls and the happiness, I can still feel when I think about it. And uh, there was, there, there was uh, my all-time memorable trip to Nepal in year 12. Um, on that trip, our year all became so close on that trip. It felt like we were one big happy family. And to this day, when I see my Shouting College friends, uh, we still talk about how we all suddenly had meat one evening and we had realized that that day a dog that was following us for a few days had gone missing. Um, 
And I don't think anyone touched the meat that night, but it, it's these moments that we share with our friends that we still think about and, and still treasure until today and still talk about it. And, um, uh, you know, there were, there were uh, moments like going to the school fair, gossip on who's dating who, uh, raising money for charity. There were just too many, too many great moments. Um, and the thing is, uh, with ESF, because we were so diversified, I, I still keep in touch with a lot of my school friends and teachers after more than 25 years. I mean, too many. Long, it, it's been a long-lasting lifetime friendship with both um, my school friends and some of my teachers as well. Um, and that, that, you know, that's memories of uh, Shouting College and Beacon Hill. Um, the, uh, the other question was, um, do my children, you know, enjoy studying at ESF? Well, I can tell you every day they come home, they tell me they've had a great day. Uh, they're always happy with uh, what they've been learning. And they always tell me a highlight that they've had um, during their day. And I think it's because they're happy. They're willing to share with me what they go through each day. Uh, each, each day. And uh, last but not least, uh, the question um, was how is ESF different from the time when we were studying at ESF? Well, I can tell you, um, I would say in terms of the education, it's, it's, it's still very good. And I, uh, I think there is one thing that's, that's really different and is that it's in terms of communication. The communication, the way we communicate in our days and, and nowadays is just um, two different worlds. Uh, let's just say with two kids and, and Yasmin, she has three. I mean, I am sometimes overwhelmed with the information overload, but that's just how the world has evolved with communication. And in a way, I do really appreciate the reminders and webinars like today, which are informative and, and allows you know, us to uh, give uh, feedback to ESF as well as other alumni parents who are considering uh, their children's education in ESF. I mean, there's, there, there's a lot of parent support also, which I think that is the major difference. But in, in terms of you know, the, the school education, I, I just think it's, it's still the same, or, or I should say it's a lot better. But to me, both my kids, you can see there in the, in the two pictures, and myself, we've always been happy about school. And that's, that's, that's really what I wanted to tell you all about my experience with uh, ESF.